How are you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jinx from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be something different that uh, I have not done for a Siemens uh, TIA portal is actually start learning, uh, making videos and learning as well all the instruction functional blocks and everything that is part of TIA portal. The reason you need to do this because more and more in my work life and around it, people are starting asking me to write the code for them and create uh, machineries and uh pretty much build stuff from scratch up for that for me to be most efficient of it because i don't usually code i'm usually a, a controls engineer that looks after equipment but don't usually write the code but now more and more i'm asked to do that so for me to best to uh, do and most uh, be most productive regarding that regarding programming is to learn what he has gotten offer and the best way for me to learn that is to go through everything that is inside here all the function blocks and instructions and so on. I have already written written several codes and many many times I come up with the uh, complex uh, instructions that I need to uh, write and uh, spend hours and hours and hours to do it and only to find out later on that there's actually was a function block and make that very very simple. So in these videos I am going to uh, yeah, go through it all of that there is there's gonna be a long long series because there's a lot to learn so uh and uh so yeah and uh for me to best learn and memorize everything is to uh, make videos of it store it on my youtube channel and i so i and hopefully you can return to it whenever you need so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Alrighty, so get ourselves get started. Let's start with uh, a basic uh, contact. I have a uh, physical switch in here that we'll be able to test out how things are work as we progress. So the first one is normally open contact. For many of us who are starting into this, uh, it's going to be new. For the uh, for those who don't, uh, it's going to be a already new uh, stuff that you already know. So we're going to check out uh, normally open and normally close contacts, and also we're going to put a coil. Which is going to be this guy in here, which is which is called assignment within the PLC. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So let's mark up them as a uh, push button. Push button. And I'll tell you one thing, we're not going to do that now. Let's delete that one. And in a coil, uh, let's uh, check that out in here. Let's put the output coil. So I haven't done that. So let's uh, save it. All it's going to do in here, with, when the push button is pushed, and held the coil will turn itself on very very simple so uh, let's pump that in and let's have a look how that works here we go very simple so uh, you uh, you close the contact which is the digital input the contact closes and the coil goes on and if you turn it off uh, the push button goes off remember this is not set so if our is not going to the digital input this instruction is not going to work Next up, let's quickly have a check on the normally uh, close contact will work. will be pretty much an opposite. Change that in here by just doing that. Compile it. Load it. There you go. So let's have a look at it. And as you can see now, so push button on, coil is off. Push button off, the coil is on. Basically an inverted, uh, inverted switch. So our next instruction is going to be not inverted RLO. So what it does is actually let's just check it out straight away how that will work. So let's put a, a contact and let's put the coil. So let's again do the a uh, push button and let's do the output in here. So at the moment, as you can see in here, the push button is uh, being pushed. Let's let's uh, compile and send it in. Uh, let's have a look how that would look like. So as you can see at the moment, which, which we already checked, just uh, just checked out. Push button goes on, output goes uh, on, push, go, push button goes off, and output goes off. Very simple. So what happens if you put not into it? Here we go. So let's uh, put that in here. Let's compile. Send in. As you can see now, because of that not in there, the push button is not pushed, but the output coil is on. So what it does, it pretty much inverts anything past not. Anything is there, it's going to be inverted. So if I activate the push button, uh, the, the signal is coming uh, to the to the not, not inverts the signal and turns off the output. And pretty much all it does, it inver inverts the signal after the not itself. Turn the, turn the push button off. 
to not convert uh, converts the output to on and turn and push button on not converts output to off that is a not so in our next one uh, let's uh, check it out what does the negative assignment means for negative assignment we're going to remove the not and we're going to put this in here what negative assignment going to do it would invert the specific coil so let's compile and oh, there we go so let's have a look how that works as you can see now uh, my uh, uh, coil has been inverted so it's receiving a signal on but the coil is actually off so the output now which is rq 0.0, .0 is off and if i turn the button off and as you can see the coil turns green which basically is on so I'll turn it on it's pretty much like not but you're targeting specific coils so it's really cool if you want to like do the signal swapping and things like that so I turn it on and turn it off it's really that's pretty much all that does next up let's check out the uh, set and a reset these guys are more or less working uh, together so let's change that one to a, uh, a set let's create another one so let's put it there so let's put that coil down here and then let's create another one and put another coil and that one. so in here what we're going to do this this uh, q0.0 what we, we're going to change that one to a different one so we're going to change that to internal bit so let's go for tag six okay so tag six and then we're going to say uh, reset in here tag six well okay so we're going to change that one to reset okay you can do pretty cool stuff with this uh, it's just to give you an idea how that would work so and let's put that as tag six in here this is going to be our contact and it's going to be activating our output one so and this one in here let's change that one to re so, so let's put the tag one why not so here we go so let's check out how that works so let's compile it so as you can see in here if i click the push button the whole uh, the coil is been set and i'll remove it and as you can see as soon as i click the, the set the reset lit up as well saying uh, the specific tag can be reset by activating this coil in here so what i'm going to do in here do that to one and it will reset it Pay attention to one thing that I want to show that because there's going to be something that we're going to look at later on with another set reset. So uh, if we click the push button in here and take a push button, that stays set. So and if we modify that to a one and that is a reset the coil. So what we're going to do in here, we're going to activate push button again. As you can see, the reset in here is not taking priority and still able to set it. Again, this is pretty cool stuff if you're trying to do like with a uh, fiddling with uh, the uh, signals and outputs if you wish to do that so if you turn it off and turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off it resets uh, automatically so on um, that uh, setting a uh, resetting let's give an exact name for it setting output and resetting output next let's have a look set bit field and a reset bit field so let's have a look how that works let's put the coil in here so it's in the sort of contact in here and also drag our set bit field in here so set bit field and reset bit field is quite useful if you want to set many bits in up one go so how that works let's have a look at it so let's uh put our push button in here so you can see at the top part of it which goes top brand which our semen says this is where you need to uh, enter your address and any number you put on the bottom uh, will be the bit straight after this specific address. So let's say M0.0, M0.0, we put it in here and on the bottom all we can do is a uh, put how many bits after that we want to turn on. So we're going to say three, why not? So here we go. So he's going to turn on now M0.0, 0 0.1 0 .1, and 0 0.2. Let's demonstrate how that would work. Also, we need to reset that day, reset all the bits. So if this comes as following. So we're just going to create a uh, contact and a coil. And there we're going to put tag six. And in here, we're going to uh, we're going to change that to a, a reset bit field. And we're going to say M0.0. 0, 0. 
and we want to reset three bits in here as well. Could be more if you wish to, but we're going to be working with three. Let's compile and uh, bump it in. So by clicking a push button, as you can see, all three bits has gone on. And by turning it off, if I change that one to a uh, one, it will reset all three bits. That is a uh, change to zero again. So push button on, all three bits going on. Let's see what happens if we try to reset it while the set if, uh, the button is still activated. Uh, let's click on. As you can see, the reset does not happen because the set's been pushed. So let's uh, let's take turn that off, and here we go. The reset happens, and that's. Ladies and gentlemen, it's set and reset bit builds.